Hi, my rays of light, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back, anyone that is new to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner of this video, as well as the notification bell icon, so that way you'll be notified of any future videos that I do publish on this channel. That being said and done, today I'm going to be doing a psychic slash mediumship reading on Gianni Versace. For a lot of you that have been asking for me to do that reading, I haven't done it in... I, um, it was on my list to do, uh, I'm going to give you the tea from spirit, from his soul, what I can connect to what is being delivered to me. Um, immediately what I am getting from this, uh, from Gianni and the message that's coming through very strongly is that he passed before his time. He is telling me that he did pass before his time. It's very clear. He had a lot of other plans. He did not see this coming at all. Um, you know, him being taken out at a very young age. He was like, what, 50 years old? Whatever the age was, he was taken before his time. He was, he had other things that he needed to do. This is a man of secret, a uh, mystery. He had a lot of connections with important people all over the world. He knew a lot of things about people all over the world. Um, and he had a kind heart. I don't see Versace being, uh, Gianni being someone that was, just you know um like stuck up or uh, a snob he was very giving he did believe in giving back to people he had people who adored him not just because of his fashions um or because of his you know stature but of his warm personality and really just um you know loving what he did he loved his work um I'm getting that there was a lot of drama in the family. Uh, I don't feel like his relationships, you know, contrary to what has been maybe told by his sister or other people in the family, um, I feel like their relationships were not perfect. And I guess that's for any family. That's, you know, something that we um, sometimes just see in families, you know, that there's a lot of jealousy or there's a lot of you know, problems like keep in mind that this man was the owner, the CEO, he was the person in charge of his label, he was worth a lot of money. And so, um, you know, greed can take in, um, take over, it can cause discord, it can cause, you know, uh, a lot of that going on. His love life wasn't perfect either. He is telling me that there were problems between him and his partner. Um, so I don't know, like if they were, and if he was into an open or they were both into an open relationship, I won't give too much of that out of respect for Gianni and his family. But what I am getting is that he may have been very promiscuous at one point and then that shifted. Um, but I feel like he was open to multiple people. There was also a lot of questions about his health. Um, he is making me feel like he, he was sick. Um, that there were some, uh, things that he kept to himself. Again, I'm not going to air out all the, the dirty laundry, but there was definitely that he, at the time that he was, um, murdered by, this Andrew Cunanan or whatever you say his name, I'm not good at pronouncing, pronouncing Indian names, but his killer, um, a lot of people, you know, speculated, did they have a relationship? Did they really know each other, etc. Um, you know, I feel like they, they actually did, even if the family has denied this, um, they actually did know each other. I do get that vibe. Um, may, they may have not been like buddy buddies, but they would have had some, um, some conversations they would have engaged. There would have been a crossing of paths. That's what's being shown to me. Okay, so I, I am getting that. Um, there was a lot of shifts going on in his life. His life, Gianni is telling me that his life at the time, but right before he was murdered, there, it was so chaotic. He was working long hours. There was a lot of um, future plans traveling, you know, to another country as well. So there was a lot of traveling that he was showing, that he is showing me and talking about. Um, the whole thing of him being taken out is very dark. It um, has a very dark vibration and energy surrounding it. Um, he was not entirely happy. You know, even though he had all this fame, these accolades, he was not happy. And, uh, you know, I saw something that was out there, you know, that said that, you know, 
he would often walk to the coffee shop or get the, the morning paper him, himself sometimes. And then he would have his assistant do it. But on the day of his shooting, he was doing it himself. And it, that story is, to me, it doesn't add up. That that has been fed to the media does not add up. I feel like all of this is contrived. His murder was methodically p- planned out. It was carried out very well this was a hit even if he knew this person i feel like this person that took him out were was hired to take him out and then it was staged for him to look like he had committed a suicide basically the person that was paying him to do this took him out took the killer out and made it look staged like a suicide attempt. And that's what the police kept trying to say that they and people speculated that this was all very weird that, you know, this person um, he was using men. Apparently the killer had, you know, uh, would use a lot of gay rich men or rich men in power and kind of live off of them, you know, kind of mooching off of them and jumping from one bed to another. Um they also had speculated that he was HIV positive, and according to the results, that the killer was HIV negative, which I feel like is another lie, another cover up. Because can can you imagine if all this came out into the world? So whoever he was with, I feel like definitely um, they would have not known that he would have had this again. A lot of the stuff that's fed in media, people believe the media. I've had people come to my channel and say, well, you're wrong. Like, um, you know, I did a reading on a celebrity and I said in the reading that he was married and people were like, you're wrong. He's not married. He's never been married. Like, how do you know if people are married or not married just because the media doesn't or Wikipedia doesn't say that they have been married? You don't know. People don't know everything about other people's private life. So when I say things like that, that is not, you know, uh, adding up or it's not compared to social media or what you see in you know out there there's going to be a lot of you know people kind of like not buying it but again what I give you is what spirit has given me directly um, I feel like you know he his company if he would have been alive you know the Versace brand it would have taken a it would have been like it would have reached the heights is what I'm hearing it would have been very like reached a lot of heights, but there's this coldness in the family. Okay. So I don't know what this means. I don't know, but I feel like there was this frivolous, a very cold hearted nature of Gianni's, uh, certain family members and I won't say who but I do feel like this is a very masculine energy and so you know I don't know and I'm not going to I do know but I'm not going to say you know and be very specific again I can't um but I can say that there was some the people that that took him out because it was more than one more than one person knows people in his family know some information that they're not going to ever release into the public knowledge of what really went down but there are other people that were close to Gianni that already have speculated or have held on to the idea for years that this was not just any kind of random murder that this was a hit that this was people that he knew very close to him could have it been someone in his family could have it been someone that he was intimate with? Could it be someone else? Those are the questions I think a lot of people want me to answer. But, f- you know, due to the nature of the readings that I'm doing here, I, I'm very limited on what I can give you. But I will say that I do feel like that the, um, the hire for this hit would have been someone that knew, vers- uh, that knew Gianni and knew Gianni very well ins and outs of everything you know and so it was all carried out very methodically and again like i said what i got was that the person that killed gianni was promised to be paid or would have would have been given some kind of um promise you know that they would have handed out them the money that's what i keep getting uh money was going to be given to them and for them to meet them after the job was completed but it didn't turn out. It was all like a, a setup for that killer as well. So they were taken out and the person, you know, walked away. There are the people that killed 
Gianni, and I say people, even though it was one person that shot, um, um, that shot the, the killer and one person that ordered the hit is that there is, th there are people that are still alive and that still, uh, are running loose and are very aware and know very well what happened that day and know very well what has happened and, and how Gianni passed away. And that's what I can say here. And it's like, there are going to be, uh, the company, you know, I don't know. I don't follow. I fa I love fashion. Trust me. I love fashion. I love, you know, um, I, I don't own anything Versace, um, probably because it's too expensive. Um, but you know, I will say this is that I keep seeing that the brand eventually is either going through going to go through some financial troubles or they eventually will fall bankruptcy. I don't feel like it's being managed well. I feel like there are problems very evidently and only like the exclusive people that are celebrities can really afford Versace or people that make moderate to high incomes, you know, that would be able to splurge on Versace, etc. I'm there, I feel like they are making money through their colognes, maybe perfumes, but you know, all the revenue, I, I just keep seeing behind the brand Versace itself, you know, that there would be a decline here. Um, I do feel like Gianni's soul does still haunt the killers, the people that are alive that called this hit. Um, they feel his presence. They try to ignore it and feel like they, you know, it's nothing. But I don't see that. I don't feel like they're at rest. I feel like they are tortured. And I feel like he prefers it that way, you know, because for him, there is something coming through that he's not happy. He's still, after all these years, he's, his soul's not at rest. It's not at peace. Um, and so I feel like he very much took the passing very hard as a soul and stayed earthbound and has stayed earthbound. And, you know, eventually I feel like um, when these people pass, when they do pass, that he would cross over at that time uh, because his soul would be at rest knowing that those people have left this world, have departed the physical world. But up until then, you know, there's a lot of, um, of him just kind of watching and waiting and kind of haunting these people and getting in their dreams and causing basically their life to fall apart. Um, you know, I feel like the sister does think of him, you know, she does miss him. Um, the brother, you know, not so much. I don't feel like there's a lot of that, you know, I don't feel like they had a very good relationship as we should say, contrary to what people may say or think. I, I just don't see that. Um, you know, it's very sad that we lost a very talented man. Um, and, and, you know, I hope, you know, I, I really do hope that justice would be served, but I don't feel like just justice will be served here in this physical world. Even though they tied that guy to the, the murder and blamed him solely, that's a farce. That's a lie. Um, it was not. He, he what may have been the one that, that pulled the trigger that carried it out, but um, there was somebody higher, somebody that was you know, had ordered this. And so, you know, this has been uh, something that has been on the minds and hearts of many people um, for the longest time, wanting to know what that truth was. I do feel like his partner um, did take his passing very hard. I do feel like there was genuine love there. But again, I feel like a lot of open relationships and there would have been discussions and um some struggles there with emotions and communication um almost feeling like he was the shadow of gianni many you know many times but everything you know in here uh in the reading that i just did on gianni is but i do get that um there were would have been some files. He is showing me some files, some important papers that would have had important information. I don't know if the sister would know what this was or what it 
it represented. And he's also showing me a red dress and having some significant meaning for, I feel like this would have been an actress that would have been a very close friend of his that he would have designed a red dress for, um, very elegant. And I feel like she knew things personally that he had confided to her about um, his life and the inner workings of things that, you know, he were bothering his mind right before up to his passing. Um, he is showing me that there was a lot of emotional turmoil kind of like uh his spirit wasn't right it was almost like even though he did not know that he was going to pass that um he his soul knew on a subconscious level that there was a type of exit point there was an exit point coming so um like i said sometimes our souls do know when there is an exit point before it actually happens uh, in his case, I feel like his soul knew, but he didn't really physically, like mentally, he did not know or feel, but his soul kind of felt at unrest because the soul knows things that we cannot understand. So this is a psychic reading slash mediumship reading on Gianni Versace. I send my love to um, his supporters, his fans, his friends. Um, and those that cared the most about him and were authentic in his life uh, know that he will find peace eventually. Um, but sometimes souls, like I said, do not want to move on. So um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Blessings and love and light, my rays of light. Have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world.